Alrighty guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an educational informative rank 3 survivor game in solo queue on the Thompson house. Now right away I'm going to be working on a generator which isn't in a bad spot. What do I already know? I know I have a strong loop to my right with a nice window to utilize. I know that if I can take space in between I can make the god window. I've also got a pallet in between here and a double L wall that I can see just by looking at the top of the, the buildings there. So right now I know every jungle gym that is available around me and it's going to be important that I memorize this and I use that depending on what killer I am currently versing. I have an ally who has a, a lovely jacket on. Looks like we're going to be versing an Oni. Now with an Oni, I'm not going to be able to make spacing towards that if he activates his ability. Looks like he's in the middle of chase. That's fine, but I am going to be able to play around this loop here pretty comfortably even when he does use uh, Demon Dash as long as I'm patient on my vaulting. That being said, I do have a pallet in between here, which isn't a great pallet against an Oni, but sometimes you can bait that pallet and then play towards the windows as well depending on how confident the killer is and if they lunge early. So let's proceed to work on this generator. We're going to work on that other generator in the middle of the map. This is one of the worst maps for a killer to play. It used to be so survivor-sided that it got a bit of a nerf. And honestly, it's still a little bit um, it's still a little bit unfair in terms of how survivor-sided it is. Getting both generators done in the open will save a generator in the corner, a generator in the corner, a generator in the corner. And that's going to be really hard for any killer to protect. However, Oni moves at 195% movement speed when he activates uh, Demon Dash. So keeping in mind that he also has no penalty towards collision and he has 45 seconds of instant down multi-hit penalty. Now that is going to hurt a little bit. He will have a 3 gen on the other end of the board, including the generator in the middle of the map, which is exactly where I'm going when this generator is completed. Now what is the good news in giving him a 3 gen? Realistically, the answer is there is no good news in giving him a 3 gen. However, this means if we get injured, we can run to this side of the board and if the killer comes, he wastes time and we can group heal over here and leave blood over here. It's not great. But at the same time, it's making the best of a bad situation when you don't want to be leaving blood against Oni. Let's see how he goes if he comes through the map to me. I left no scratch marks. He went right past. He would have seen her scratch marks, and that's how he's responded. Good play onto the window. That was a very impressive turn. Unfortunately, it looks like he got stuck on a tree for a little bit too long, though. He's really trying those corners. Oh, he might actually get it from the panic vault. Very unfortunate for Oni. Just going to go right back through the window. I see two misplays that happened on either side there. His ability is done. I'm going to just wait here. If he chooses to run this, I want him to come in a set direction. Notice how I move where he will see me and he will come from this way. I will wait here. Okay, he's so far away. I'm going to play towards the window that I called out earlier at the shack, depending on his movement. Lunge too early, so I didn't play the window. We go around. We wait because we're too fast. That's why we wait. We've got a good lead on him. We're going to wait right here. He's going to play right around into our loving embrace. Shouldn't have played window. Let's wait right here on the corner again. Alright, we're going to go right back around. Now remember, he is getting closer to Bloodlust. Alright, we can do it one more time. It looks like he's just going to force the seal. I could try a mind game and squeeze past him, but it's not the right play. He should have just forced the seal on the window. Window seal. Will have Bloodlust. Should be able to make this other window in time. Looks like he wasted all that time, got no pallets, no hits, and he just reset his own bloodlust and let go of the chase completely. Lost another generator for it too, he's running to the corner of the map, he doesn't have Tinkerer, so he has no indicator to know if the gen's nearly done, but there was an injured player over here, he's got blood from them working on the generator, and she has a god tier loop here beside another really strong loop. Do you see why this map is very hard for killers to play? I don't think he lands it. He'll land it now if I don't play it smart. Alright. Well, I want to play to the window if I can, not the generator. So we just had enough time and spacing to get around it. I could play around it again, or I could just go spacing. Sidestep again, block his line of sight, he's found somebody else, let's go straight towards this. He's out of his ability. 
step window? Where did he go? Boom. Looks like she might have another second chance with the pallet. No, I'm gonna start opening the door. He has to make a decision. You pick her up and hook her or you stop me from doing this? Stops me from doing this? Oh, well, that's a lot of blood. I didn't have many plays on the table. I do have the side window. He's so far behind, I could make the easier window with a better vault, rather than just taking the close vault. That's a Spirit Fury Oni into a pickup on the other guy, but he still did go down. Good news is he didn't hit a full health player, so he doesn't have his power up. He's about to get his power up, though. So let's get this door open now, too. One of the players just ran out. The other guy is being healed. He's got blood off of them. I'm going to try and hide him. Line of sight is so important. Line of sight again. Remember, he has infectious fright. So this guy gets hit, I'm in trouble. If I get spotted, I'm in trouble as well. Alright, one of them's picked up. One of them's down. What do you do? Remember, he doesn't have unlimited blood. He has a limit. Move in a direction where it's going to be very hard for him to follow. He's lost his ability. All I needed to do was just stall it out. That other guy's been picked up. And in that time, they're both going to be able to run that door when he came over here looking for another down. When he could have taken a hit on the other guy or a hook on the other guy as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to be an education informative rank 1 solo queue survivor game. It's not rank 1. It's a rank 3 survivor game against an Oni. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It just goes to show you how strong some of the maps are, like Thompson House, and how careful you have to be with your time management as most killers, even a killer as powerful as Oni. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do education for Oni, DVD killer, and survivor content over at YouTube five days a week. It'd be great. Multiple days a week. It'd be great to have you guys in there. Thank you all for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.